so we wouldn't be able to separate them. But with the cow, we can. So the chorion is what makes up the placenta. And so you can write that if you haven't done so already. Now I'm cutting through the amnion. The amnion is what contains the fluid. And this fluid is there for an important reason. Why is the baby surrounded in fluid? So it doesn't it doesn't yeah, for protection from shock. It's not like shock resistance, right? Mom moves around, baby's going to be floating gently in this fluid. This is a really big fetus. This is the biggest okay. one that I have ever seen. Okay. Oh. 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 You can actually see the markings that the cow would have. You can start to see the, the markings. Look the up with the uterus. I'm going to be a movie director. Okay. Like bad lunch so I'm going to have you sit down so we can finish talking, but um, you're welcome to stick around for a little while after class. Smells like bad lunch meat. He's dead. What is this that's extending from the abdomen? Umbilical cord. It has little arms. <laughs> okay, now, if we were, if this was a human baby, we would, the doctor would put a clamp on the umbilical cord here and about here, and then they would say, Dad, would you like to do the honors? And then maybe if Dad's feeling up to it, they're not passed out, right? <laughs> Go home, ask Blood just squirts see, everywhere. See if they cut the umbilical cord. <laughs> and then you didn't they put it right. a much smaller clamp, much closer to the baby. Mr. Polkowski did, big honor. There we go. Okay. What are the white things on? Inside, those are actually undeveloped um, cotyledons. Actually, what they are. Oh. The, uh, little tiny, tiny placentums. Yep. Um, you can see the veins and arteries that are inside the umbilical cord. Who do these belong to? Mom or baby? Baby. 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 Very good. So, yeah. baby's blood vessels extend from the um, fetus and they continue into the chorion and they web out all throughout the chorion and they make contact at every single placentum. And so that's how um, baby's blood and mom's blood are able to diffuse materials back and forth. Okay. Um, can Kyle, could you flip my paper over for me? Thank you. I think we've hit just about everything so far. All right. Visible fetal structures. How are we doing on time? This, this fetus is pretty far along. I'm guessing he's probably about four and a half months. Look at his tongue. Um, <laughs> We can see the hooves, tail. We noticed that it was a girl, okay? So it didn't have any testes. Um, you can see, those of you up close, can you see the markings on the camera? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's slippery, so I'm trying to be gentle. Oh my gosh! The ears, the eyes, the tongue, starting of teeth. Kyle, don't drop it. I won't. <laughs> I would yeah. just laugh. It's in an outer box. It'll all be okay. It'll smell like bad lunch meat for a while, but. It'll be okay. Lunch meat, that's all. Okay, folks, are we ready? Yeah. Question 16 What is gestation? Period between fertilization and birth. So it's the length of pregnancy. What is the gestational period for humans? Nine months. Nine months. And a cow? Nine months. Same. You got it. Good remembering. Can you just turn Ted over this one? Thanks. Elephant is 24 months. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the cow is nine months, just like a human. 
Horses are 11 months, just to kind of let you know if you care. Can you turn its head a little bit? In a minute so, I will. i got to finish right. going through certain things here, okay? Um, number 16, what I'm going to do is use the ruler here. And um, I don't know, maybe Sarah wants to come up and help me read um, how long the baby is. So we're going to measure, we're going to measure the crown to rump, which means from head to butt. And so, ooh, oh. maybe you don't want to come over here. I'm slashing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Sarah, you want to come up and try to see what you, what you think, how long it is? Yeah. Do it. Do it. I'll help you, Miss Nags. It's actually the length of the ruler, wouldn't you say? About 30 centimeters? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, folks, if you take a look at the TV screen, you'll see that it's actually roughly the length of the entire ruler, which is 30 centimeters. So for question 618, um, there's a calculation we can perform to estimate how many days old the fetus is. So you would take 30 centimeters, multiply it by 2.46 plus 54. So if anybody, um, let's go ahead and do that calculation. Let us know how many days old. Uh, you want me to turn it around there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, your job this weekend, he's very big and he's very heavy. I wish I had a scale that I could How put him on. How did they not know the mommy cow was pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> because it's sold. The cow's sold. They, they don't do a pregnancy test. Family. They just ship it off to the slaughterhouse. And How much money are you going to give me? Uh, All right. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Mad cow disease? Guys. Folks, I know it's exciting, but I need you to listen up. Thank you. It should be more than that. Your math's wrong. 86.46. Did you do the 30 times 2.46 plus 54? should be more than that. 127. 127. Divide that by 30, and that'll give us roughly how many months? Ah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, what was I going to say? I lost my chance. Share, they'll be really this creepy. Weekend, question number 19, I'm going to expect for you to answer uh, by giving me a few sentences about what you learned. This next is 128 days. 128 days? Yep, almost, that's what I figured, almost five months. If you would like to touch the fetus, you may do so. You have to put on a rubber glove. I'll do it. And when you're done, you have to wash your hands in my prep room in the back. Okay? Bye. Bye. Bye.